Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another Minecraft server admin tutorial, otherwise known as just bucket tutorials. So this week, as suggested by Halo2303, we're doing flow auction. So if you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion for one like Halo2303 HD, feel free to suggest it below. Um, but be sure to check out what I've done already. I've done like 70 of these, so I might have already done it. Um, but feel free to suggest it below. I'll record those, give you a shout out if I use it. This one is, like I said, flow auction and done by Incredinex. And, uh, you know, it's only been requested once, but... I thought it was pretty cool, and I was kind of curious. I've seen it in action, and I was curious about how it works, so I thought I would hit it up. So a couple dependencies. There is Vault, which if you're using anything that interacts with an economy, you use Vault, so you've probably used it already. And uh, the second one is What Is It, which just gives different names for items and lets, you, lets the auction uh, program use better names so it's easier to understand. And... So I'll go over those. The link for downloading those is in the jibbles below, as well as a link to the page for this plugin. Um, before we start, I'm just going to talk about what is it real quick. So what that does is it gives your users this, this command, what is, what is this, which is uh, T, or you can look at something and do what is that. Oops. And then uh, it's whatever you're looking at. So it just gives a different name for the stuff that you have in your hands because this auction works off of whatever is in your hand. So the permission nodes, we're doing this a little bit different. We're going to hit those first this week. Permission nodes are auction.start to be able to start an auction and auction.bid to be able to continue bidding. So you can even just split this up. You can let anybody bid on your auction on auctions, but only donors can start. Hey, that's an option for you. And then what is it actually has a permission node. It is what is it dot use. So all your users need to use that be able to to be able to view the names. Although I don't think it's needed for them to be able to use the auctions, but it will let your users be able to see the name of things. And then there's also what is it.admin, which allows admins to change the name of items to be whatever you want. So if you have some custom names, that would be cool as well. So actually we don't have anything else to go over in the game here. So let's hop over to the config files. Okay, so here we are in our server you can see we got all these plugins running so uh, the first is what is it you can change the names in here as well oops you can change the names as well as in the game which is kind of cool um, whatever you prefer if you'd rather do them in the game that's fine too um, and then the config file is pretty straightforward you can change the prefix of it um, the colors that kind of stuff all in here but um, what we really want to look at is the flow auction. So the config is there, and then we're going to open the language as well. So the language is you can change the prefix on it. Um, so you can change that to be, I'll just change it to McFriends. So these are just things that are going to show up in the console if you don't have Vault, if you don't have an economy, if you're not running what is it, that kind of stuff. Other than that, in here, it's just a bunch of text that you can modify to be whatever you want. I'm not really going to go over all of that, but that's colors, all that stuff. So this is what we're looking at. There's really not a whole lot to go over because by default, it works really well. And it's configured good to go, but there's some tweaks that I want to point out. You can modify the start tax. So this is the tax that is charged to your users to start an auction. Um, or you can set it up to where they get taxed if only if the auction is sold. And this would be the percentage of the amount that is that is sold. So that's some taxes if you want to set up or fees for being able to use the auction. And then you can even change this. So rather than going to the server, you can have it go to you or something like that. That's, that would be the taxes of it. Um, the other thing is uh, I would highly suggest you turn on anti-snipe unless you want that to be an option so that people can snipe a bid right at the end. Um, this basically, if, if a bid happens way too close to the end, it will extend it out. So the last 15 seconds of the auction, if a bid comes in, it will extend it out 10 seconds. So you can modify that stuff in there. You also set up banned items. So this is bedrock, and then this is, I forget, off the top of my head. 
Um, you can also set it up so only certain items are taxed. By default, it's zero, which is air, so nobody can tax, nobody can auction that off. But um, you can do that. So disable commands while participating. There is an issue with Mob Arena in running auctions, so um, you can't do these commands if you're participating in an auction. There is also you can't. Um, it's also banning some lore from an MC MMO. Um, problem. So the last bit is scopes. So this basically means areas that auctions can happen. So by default, it's everywhere. So you can set this up to only for auctions to only happen in certain worlds. You can then also even split this up into different groups of worlds. So different auctions can happen on different groups of worlds. So if you have a survival and a prison world running side by side, you can separate those out. So the only survival worlds can do the auctions. So it's just adding those worlds in here and changing the name um, in there. You can also specify a house, which um, I'm going to show you the picture right now um, of some of the suggestions on the bucket page. So the house is goes by the coordinates so it's hard coded in there. I would ha highly recommend getting World Guard installed, which you probably have it installed already, and then specifying a World Guard region like in the example shown. That will allow you to move that World Guard region to wherever you need it to be, so you can set it to be auction whatever. Um, I'm not really going to go over any of those examples. I thought about doing that, but um, I'll let you guys play with that. I'll just leave it by default having it on everywhere. Now, they do have an example, and they point out that the order of this, so if you want to have multiple of these in a row, the order of this is important. And um, so if if you have it on for everywhere, and then you want to set it up so only a certain region will have it, um, this will take precedence. The first one will take precedence over the second one. So in this example here, um, that you see on your screen is this is an option for setting up so it will disable the area across all of the regions which is kind of cool and then what you can do is then you can have a tax-free house so in that area it's tax-free by having that config in there and then uh, it can have the tax world so it's going to tax everywhere else that people can do um, auction so that's kind of a cool idea so that will allow people an area to congregate and um yeah that's all we got for the config file so let's uh hop into the game i'll show you a quick example and wrap this up okay so here we are there's a bunch of commands that you have access to you got the auction command and this will actually list everything that you can do so you can do uh auc start and then the quantity of whatever it is let me uh, hold it. So we're going to sell this axe. So you do auction start one and then uh, 10 and then increment. So this is going to be the bid increment. So we're going to go by one or let's do five as well. And then that time, which will be in seconds. So I think you can do 60 seconds and then a buy now price. So if you want to buy it now, you can do it for 50. So you can ask, oh, I got to jump out of creative mode. You can turn that off in the config file, but um, we'll do that. So stone axe for one minute. So let's uh, give Zen Gamer some money. Oops. Eco. There we go. So now he can do... Uh, now he can bid on it. So auction bid. So if we want to bid, we're going to do 15, bid 15, 25. So it has bid 15 on the stone axe. So there it goes. It's still going. Um, you have a few other options in here for starting. Zen Gamer has won. So now it goes from your, your uh, inventory to him. So there's a few other options that you have in here. So auction. And then you can also do, you can cancel an auction. So if you do auction cancel that's going to cancel that the other thing is you can start a sealed auction so that's going to be s auction 
and then start and then everything that you had in there and then that will allow people to not have automatic bids and stuff like that you can also then set up your default values for quantity price increment time in there when placing auctions so if you're doing a lot of auctions that kind of stuff and then um if you're curious about what kind of auctions going on, you can do auction info and then you can bid on it, obviously. And then you can also just turn off all the the notices of auctions by doing, <laughs> I think this is funny, STFU or ignore or off or silent or silence, all that stuff. So that's all I got for you guys uh, this week. Hopefully you guys found this helpful and you have some fun with this plugin. I'm probably going to keep this on on file um, it's a good option for prison servers as well to just set up an easy to player selling system that's reliable that is more trustworthy than just dropping items off and hoping the person pays you um, so yeah that's this is all I got so this is Cos from McFriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game God bless goodbye oh, like, oh no no I don't have the heart to do this oh so I feel bad <laughs> I, I feel bad why don't, why don't you come and murder this guy Oh. <laughs>